Hey Railheads, welcome back to my Finger Lakes Railway layout. You're thinking about getting the proto throttle? Watch this video first. For those that are unfamiliar with a proto throttle, it's just a wireless throttle for your DCC locos, but it's configured to mimic a real diesel control stand. Now let's take a look at a few things. Well, first things first, cost. Now grab a hold of something. You're looking at around 500 bucks for just the throttle, plus another hundred for the receiver, unless you have the JMRI Y throttle server set up. And so if you're still with me here, to me, it's worth it. And I'll show you a video of me operating the throttle where you can see the loco's response. And stick, hey, stick around to the end for a simulated air test. It's a pretty cool way to add realism to your op session. Second consideration, ease of use or not. Uh, this is a sophisticated product and with that comes a steep learning curve. And so after studying the user manual and the setup guides and the intro videos on your website, you'll probably still need some help. I, I know I did. Here's our safety net, the Proto Throttle I.O. group, and the links are all in the description down below. It's a free support group, it's manned not only by advanced users, but the developers themselves. They help me when I stumbled, and they will help you. Well, hey, let's run some dadgum trains. Now, here's a spot where we can simulate a grade as we drop from the main line on the cork roadbed down to the industrial spurs on the plywood sub roadbed. And this will show how I use Loke Sound Drive Hold along with the Proto Throttle. The third and final point I'm just having fun. Now, let's get these diesels fired up. I used Loke Sound decoders and I programmed the Loke Sound drive hold function to the aux button on the throttle. And now with the touch of a button I can separate the movement from the sound. I'll show you what I mean. And turn on the lights. Oh man, I love that horn lever. It looks like there's a delay, but there's not any. I just don't have my two cameras in the quite in sync. So we're climbing the grade out of the industry now, pulling loaded hoppers from a dead stop. It makes these B23-7 strain a little bit. So to capture that effect, I hit the green aux button at the top left of the throttle. And now I can ramp up to notch 8 without changing my speed. I've returned the throttle handle to notch 2 or 3 and hit the aux button again to turn off the drive hold. And we're right back to where we were with no abrupt change of speed. I throw the throttle handle to idle and as we coast I use the variable brake to ease to a gentle and precise stop. It's the red lever and I know my hand's in the way. Right above the brake lever is the bell. Now I use the reverser lever to change direction. So just like before, I hit the aux button to engage drive hold, but this time I drop the throttle handle to idle to simulate coasting back down the grade. Notice the speed remains constant. And you can toggle the drive hold off and on as an engineer would adjust his throttle to maintain an even speed.
you can see me use the brake a little better here I think this variable brake is maybe the coolest feature of the proto throttle it's not just brake on and brake off the farther you push the lever the more the brakes engage so you can really feather to a stop And now here's the air brake test I promised you. I've got Norfolk Southern switching Seneca Foods on my layout. And this is GP60 number 7134. You just coupled onto this cut of tank cars. And now we need to do an air test before they can run back to the yard. To the special functions menu for the brake test screen. You can hear the compressor kick in as we run the air pressure up to about 90 psi. The little throttle to help uh, speed things up a little bit. Well, this little exercise really gets you to slow down to a more realistic pace. And you can adjust the time it takes to build the air pressure. The compressor kicks off around 90 PSI.
And now we'll apply the brake lever to drop the air down to 60 or so and make sure it builds back up. Well, the air test was good, and the crew heads for the yard. I hope you know a little more about the prototrottle than you did before. If you got any questions, drop them there in the comments, and I'll try to answer. Hey, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And like Pappy says, it don't cost nothing to hit that button. <laughs> so I'll see you next time on the Finger Lakes Railway Lab.